I purchased this camera, the Tiny2 from OBS Bot, a while ago for my content creation. I also received this one, that is the Tail Air from OBS Bot for free. So I accept to review it because I really needed a second camera. These are the best two cameras that I found on the market for different purposes. Although they have some advantages and disadvantages, I feel that they complement each other and by the end of this video you will be able to know what is the best fit for you and why are they the best cameras on the market right now for live streams and content video creation. First let me tell you that I use these cameras a lot. When I purchased this Tiny2, I found it very very powerful as a webcam. I don't like at all the big cameras DSLR, I never use them and this is very very keep it simple style so that's why I chose this one but there were more on the market. This one is the best choice right now for a permanent camera. It has advantages over the tail air but this one has also advantages over this one so that's why I say they complement each other. Right now I'm recording with my simple smartphone how I started but since I upgraded for the OBS bot ecosystem, I'm very, very satisfied. Therefore, let's disconnect the smartphone. Look, this is a channel of astronomy. I do stuff with telescopes, watching the sky. I do reviews of uh, astro cameras a lot, but not this kind of content creation cameras. However, I made an exception because I really needed a second camera and it was a perfect fit for free to review this camera and show you how I use it. Right now you are watching in front of me, it's the Tiny2 camera. This camera I use it as a permanent camera because it has loads of advantages over any camera but has a caveat, it's the portability. I can't uh, have it outside without having it plugged to a power source. And that leads to the huge advantage of the tail air and why I wanted so much to have it. It's of course the ability to have Wi-Fi so it's highly portable. I can place it anywhere outside, here inside as well. Actually I use it as a second camera with an adapter, a clamp that I have it here so I can swap from uh, cameras during the live streams and also doing like this in the video I can look at you like this or have a lateral view, you know, to change frames. So now I use the Tail Air 2 as a second camera and I quickly release the clamp and use it outside as an outdoor camera. Now this is very important. The quality of the images, I see them exactly the same. Here you will see different lightning, but I'm not a professional in that. I'm also not a professional in going deep into filters, whatever. I don't use them at all. Yes, I sometimes use the AI that feature to track us outside but here in the studio I don't use it because I don't want to move around and the camera to move with me here in the studio to do my live streams I use it fixed as it is right now another disadvantage of the Tiny2 over the new one the Tail Air is that the Tiny2 warms up a lot well it never happened nothing but here I live in a warm uh, weather location and during the summer it gets really hot. As I said, never happened anything, but I use a cooler. As those smartphone coolers, I leave the links at the description, so you can use it if you want with any device, actually. It happened the same while I was using my smartphone, the Samsung S21. It warmed up a lot, I used that cooler to uh, cool down the smartphone while I was recording and during the live streams as well. Again, no problems at all with the devices, but I prefer to have them in a low temperature uh, to work. On both cameras, I use the presets so I can have the um, view if I want to zoom or if I want to make a, a zoom in in an object or something. I can do it quickly, it's very easy to do and both have the same software. By the way, I use both cameras connected with the same OBS bot application. Another advantage that we have with the new Tail Air is that you can use a Ethernet adapter. They sell it separately. They sent me one for free and I'm using it 
although it works very well with Wi-Fi, I never had a bad connection with the tail air outside, it's wonderful. But as I have it, I'm using it for having a wired connection. While the Tani 2, I use it by USB, this one, the new tail air, I use it wired with that Ethernet adapter. I used it before with the USB and it works the same way as the Tiny 2. The Ethernet adapter for the tail air is to allow you to stream outside and moving on travel or something wired with a stable connection. That it's good, but as I said, no problems with Wi-Fi. About the batteries, I could use the tail air for about three hours or four without any problems. What I do is a trick. When I'm using it outside, when it's not in use, I disconnect the application so it's shut down. When I want to trigger again that camera outside, I just open the application and the camera, bam, appears on the screen. It's a way to use it for a long time without losing battery. That in, during the live streams it's good so I can be sure that I will have the ca both cameras working flawless during all the live streams, sometimes they last long. Another huge advantage of both of those cameras is that you click on the record button and it saves directly the video with an excellent image in the folder you choose. Then you just pick the footage to your content creation software and it's very, very easy and simple to use. The tail air has an SD card, but it's only useful if you travel with a camera. That's a great advantage with a camera, to use it traveling, or vlogs, or whatever. That will allow you to have high quality image outside during your records. And the complement of the AI movement will be a huge benefit outside, because it will allow you also to move here and there without losing and make sure that you fit on the camera which is sometimes a cumbersome for people that use cameras outside. About the specs, you have the specs on the OBS bot website, they are very good on that, everything is there listed. They are also very good communicating, easy and fast communication back and forth in English, which is very important nowadays to have a good support from a company. I tell you a secret, I was going to buy a second camera, this one, but only on Black Friday this year. If you need one right now and have the money, make sure you buy it now, use the links below, so it can help also the channel. I appreciate for that. Don't forget, if you use four Zoom meetings or kind of those communications, this is the best camera to have for that purpose, because it will give you this quality image that you are watching without any filters, anything and a professional image for your meetings. Easy to use and if it's the new tail air version, you will be able to travel with it and it's very tiny as well. Actually, it comes with this purse that it's very handy to travel with this kind of camera. In summary, if you need a setup like mine, which works great with two cameras, a main one and a second camera, use the tiny two and an additional tail air. That's my recommendation. If you need just one camera and you don't need any portability at all, buy the Tiny 2. But if you need to use it outdoors sometimes, go directly to the Tail Air and it will do exactly the same with the additional feature of the outdoor portability.